one of the top skills that almost all great coaches have is the best coaches tend to speak the least amount. In other words, the more words coming out of your mouth tends to make motor learning harder for the student. Now, I think that's, that's really important. I think there's another aspect of this that I want to talk about before we put it all together. And this is basically um, choice versus no choice. So imagine, let's say uh, I've got a hitting cage. And in this hitting cage, right, I've got a monitor on the ground. And it can play a video, slow motion video, from face on and from down the line. So I can see my swing anytime I ask for feedback. And let's say Don is in the cage next door and he's got the same thing, right? And let's say we're going to set up, we have a hitting, uh, pitching machine, we each get 50 balls. So we get the same amount of practice, okay? So we're in the cage and we're going through and let's say the ball comes. Anytime I want to see feedback, I, can, I have the choice. I can say, show me my swing and I'll show my swing. But the interesting thing about this experiment is every time I ask for feedback, Don gets feedback. But if I don't ask for feedback, Don doesn't get feedback. So think about this. We're going to get 50 balls. 50 hits, we're going to get the same amount of feedback. The only difference is I get to choose when we see our swing. He's at the mercy of whichever ones I want to see. Okay, now the question is, is who learns more? The guy who has the choice of getting feedback or the guy who has no choice? Now, I think this was, this was an interesting experiment that a lot of coaches would argue about, but it's really clear on the results here. Is the question is, is when did I ask for feedback? I think a lot of coaches will give you feedback when you do something wrong, right? Oh, man, look at that sway. It's horrible. And I'll put you up there and I'll show you, like, here's Mike Trout. Here's you. Look at the difference. What's interesting about this experiment is by far most students will ask for feedback on good attempts, not bad attempts. So think about yourself. If you're in a hitting cage and I'm swinging and I'm hitting, if I hit one really horrible, I don't want to see it. I know it was horrible. If I hit a good one, I'm like, hey, let me see that real quick. And the fact that I'm looking at a positive imprint of something that I did really well is why I, the person who has choice, always tends to outlearn the person who has no choice because Don might be looking at a bad swing. So what's really interesting here is not only is it less feedback's better, but positive feedback is the best. In other words, telling them what they did good. I call it bright spot training.